<laughs> okay, well, that's one way to move the rocks. That's not quite what I had in mind, though. OG's tired head hit the pillow after a long, hard day of work on his farm in Elm Creek. And as he slept, he had a strange dream wherein he dreamt of a magnificent roller coaster set in a beautiful northern town named Silver Run Forest. And the roller coaster brought prosperity and happiness to the citizens of Silver Run Forest, for people would come from miles around to ride the wonderful structure. All of a sudden, a storm swept up out of nowhere and destroyed the roller coaster and the citizens of Silver Run Forest wept. Before he knew it, OG himself was transported to Silver Run Forest, and in front of him stood a man who introduced himself as Mayor Marvin Maguzalem. Mayor Marvin Maguzalem said to him, OG, will you come and help us rebuild our roller coaster? And this is what happened next. Welcome everybody to a new series here on Silver Run Forest, the new map uh, for Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming and uh, yeah, we're going to start a new series here um, doing some logging. So this is not replacing my my uh, main series on Elm Creek, our Greenhorn series. Um, so this is just, you know, a new series that we're going to do and uh, have some fun, you know, with the new platinum uh, content that uh, Giants just came out with. Uh, so let's see, we're going to start by going over a couple of settings here. So let's go into the settings menu. I am starting this on a new farmer mode, um, but we are going to change some things. So let's go into here and let's see, I want to turn auto save off. We are going to set the economic difficulty to normal. Uh, I do play on hard economic difficulty on Elm Creek, but I don't want this series to be a really long struggle in the beginning. Uh, I want to jump in and just kind of start having fun right off the bat, but not, you know, not giving us everything off the bat either. We still got to work for it, but uh, it's not going to be, you know, like a really hardcore struggle. So we're going to keep the economy on normal. Um, let's see. We want seasonal growth on. I'm going to go with two days per month instead of three like I do in my main series. I never really had a need to go for three days per month, um, even in the main series. So we'll just keep that one to two days. Uh, let's see. Crop destructions on periodic plowing. Sure. I'm not really planning on doing a lot of farming uh, in this. Uh, I want to do mostly logging. Uh, let's see. We don't want automatic, in, uh, automatic, automatic engine start. We don't want stop and go braking. All that stuff sucks. We'll keep the tra trailer fill limit off. Um, I do want the fuel uses to be on high though, because I think that, you know, normal is, is not very realistic. Um, so we'll, we'll put that on high. I don't want the AI buying anything and let's see all of the rest of this stuff can stay the way that it currently is. I am using the manual attachment mod. Uh, let's go into general settings here and I want to, there was something I wanted to change in here too. What was it? Easy arm control steering seating. I want the, um, yeah, we're going to, we're going to be in manual mode just because um, you know, some of these vehicles have a hard time on hills and I'd rather be able to, to control the gear shifting. Uh, so that's going to be a manual and let's see, I think wood harvester, automatic cutting tree will be automatically cut after the tree is being delimbed. Uh, let's turn that off. Uh, so that way we can control when the cut actually takes place, uh, from the delimbing. And that, that's, uh, that's a mod that I installed. Uh, so I don't know if the mod's adding this to the menu or if that's now part of the base game. I guess I'm not sure about that. And then the rest of the stuff can stay the, the way that it is. Okay, uh, let's save those settings there. And I think that's it for for the settings. Okay, so um, we are going to not stay here. Um, I'm, I, I've played a few hours on the map just off camera, kind of acclimating myself to, to uh, the environment. I've watched a few other YouTubers play, you know, play uh, the game too. Uh, just so I, you know, when I started my own series, I have a little bit of a clue. I don't want to do this series, you know, blind. I'm relatively new to Farming Simulator, simulator anyways. And so um, I just wanted to get a little bit of a head start. So, but one thing I do know is that we're not going to stay here and we're not going to keep all of this starting equipment, but we are going to sell it 
and use the money from selling the equipment and selling this land to do the things that I want to do to start off this series. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to um, take all of this equipment down to the store and sell. Well, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to sell this. Okay, so this forwarder, even though it's given to us, it's quite frankly a piece of crap. <laughs> it's gutless and um, it's very slow and we're going to we're going to do something different. I am going to keep keep the Volvo tractor and the winch and we're going to keep the Komatsu harvester for starters. Um, but we're going to sell all the land and we're going to sell the forwarder. So let's go ahead and drive this down uh, to the shop. We will go ahead and um, sell it there because we'll get a little bit more money for it. So let's head on down there. I'll meet you guys down at the shop. Yeah, hello, this is OG. Well, hello there, uh, Mayor Marvin Magusalem. How are you doing today, sir? Good, good. So, uh, what can I do for you? Oh, okay, so you just let me know that uh, since I am um, kind enough to uh, help help the town rebuild the uh, roller coaster, I can have pretty much unlimited access to the iron mine up on the mountain for ore. Oh, that's fantastic. I, I really appreciate that. Uh, th thank you, Mr. Mayor. And, uh, oh, oh, what's that? You don't say. So, so some hoodlums broke into... Um, the uh, local Native American museum and stole a bunch of valuable carvings, huh? And and then they just kind of scattered them all all around the region just as a joke. Well, that's terrible. So, really? Well, okay, that's fantastic. So, let me make sure I heard that straight. You're you're offering a a fifty thousand dollar reward for every one of these carvings that that's found. They're really worth that much, huh? Okay, well that's fantastic. Well, I'll keep my eye out for them, and if I find any of the carvings, I'll be sure to uh, turn those in for that reward. That that's amazing. Thank you, sir. Yes, you have a nice day too. Okay, bye bye. Wow, that's amazing. So <laughs> apparently, there's these carvings all over the place um, from the uh, Native American Museum, and they're they're super valuable. So if we uh, come across any of those things, uh, we get fifty thousand dollars a pop. My goodness, we're gonna have to keep our eyes open for that. Uh, here's the, here's the, ele uh, the elevator, <laughs> the roller coaster, by the way. Um, and so basically one of the, uh, main themes in, uh, Silver Run here is that you have this roller coaster and you can help the town, uh, rebuild the roller coaster. And that was kind of, you know, the basis for my little role play there at the very beginning of the vid uh, video. And so what we have to do is if we, if you look in the lower right hand corner, we have to purchase or and, and well no we have to accumulate and bring uh wood beams planks long planks metal floor tiles staircase railings etc etc uh to here we will get paid for um that material and once we get bring all the material you see there that completes the first phase and then there's another phase i don't know how many phases there actually are i haven't uh, i haven't seen that many videos on the game uh, so that kind of gives us something fun to work towards. So we will be participating in that. And once the roller coaster is completely uh, rebuilt, then it's then we can actually ride it too, which will be kind of fun. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's <laughs> that's what the whole business was about the roller coaster uh, and OG's dream and whatnot. So apparently, so actually, technically, we're in OG's dream right now. So <laughs> that's gonna be uh, what's gonna happen for the series. So if you guys have never watched my videos before, I like to do a little bit of, you know, light role play now and then. I don't do anything too hardcore, but, you know, just have a little bit of fun uh, with stuff like that. So, anyway, all right, let's see here. We want to go into here, and we can sell uh, this for $28,764. And, um, you know what? Is it going to be worth it? Uh, yeah, it doesn't actually, it's not actually going to cost that much to repair it. And you usually make just a little bit more money if you if you repaint too. But you know what? I want to um, let's just save the game here really quick, just in case. Um, so if we repaint it, we'll now get thirty nine for it, and then let's repair it too, and then we'll sell it. So 
Okay, so yeah, we get 129.809, so we made a thousand bucks <laughs> off of it. So hey, thousand bucks, a thousand bucks, right? Uh, by getting rid of that. Okay, so now we are, like I said, we're gonna keep the uh, the wood harvester and uh, the tractor and the winch for now. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the map and we're gonna sell uh, all of the farmland that we start with because I wanna start in a different area. Um, so we can sell this for $115,000. We can sell this for uh, 32 uh, three, and this for 25 one. Okay, and so that now brings us up to $303,236. By the way, when you do start um, on New Farmer, you have $100,000 cash and you do not have any bank debt uh, like you do when you start off in hard mode like we did on Elm Creek. Okay, uh, so yeah, now we have $303,000. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go back into the map and we are going to purchase this plot of land here. I've, I've looked all around the map and this is the place that I would like to start. Uh, and of course, you know, as we, as we go along, we will be purchasing even more property, but we're going to start in this place here. Um, and we, of course, we'll go look at it here in just a little bit. Uh, so that's the land we're going to start with. And now we have $229,000 left. Okay, next thing we're going to do is go back to the store. And we are a logger, so a logger's got to have a logging truck. And we're going to purchase uh, the Max Superliner 6x4 here. We're going to keep the design uh, the way that it is. Uh, license plate's already set up. Let's go ahead and buy this. Boom, we have ourselves a logging truck. And isn't she beautiful? Right on. Okay, so we got our Mac logging truck. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back into the store and we're going to go to uh, we're going to go to skid steers. Yep, skid steers, and we're going to grab the uh, the larger New Holland skid steer. We're going to need this for a variety of things, so we're just going to buy it, and now we have it. Okay, so that takes care of that. I don't think. We're going to get any more vehicles at the moment. Uh, but we do have to get some tools. Okay, so for tools, we're going to go into forestry equipment and we're going to purchase this trailer right here. This is a this is a mod uh, and it's the, the Flegel Timber Runner Z Crane uh, EPS. And um, so this is going to be uh, both our log and trailer, and it also has a um, uh, a, a palfinger, yeah, a palfinger crane on it, uh, and it looks like it's got pretty decent reach. And so that's going to be our trailer, and we'll be able to get some nice loads of logs on that. So we'll buy that. Okay, um, I'm going to purchase. I want to purchase this skidding crane, which is also a mod. Uh, I don't know if we're going to buy this right at the moment though. Uh, but basically this is, uh, you can attach this to the back of the tractor and then it has, you know, both a crane and you can use it as, as a skidder too. Uh, so it's very useful, very inexpensive, and it also extends. So it, it goes out quite a bit, uh, you know, further than it looks. I think we're going to hold off on that for the moment though. Uh, we, we got to really be careful because we're already only down to $42,000 now. Okay, so we got the trailer. Uh, I'm eventually planning on getting a yard or two, but I don't think we'll get that immediately. And let's go now into skid steer tools. Uh, we're going to want a, a bucket. We are going to want a stump grinder. We are going to want a brush and log fork. And we are going to want this Paladin um, Stone Smasher Jackhammer thingy. And we're going to definitely need that. Okay, so that gives us all of our skid steer tools. Uh, all right, how are we doing on money? We got $24,649 left over. We already have a chainsaw, so we're good to go there. I'm uh, just trying to think. We got the harvester. We got all... Okay, let's go ahead and I want to get uh, I also want to get a low boy too just trying to think if I want if we want to get that right now yeah I think we do we might have to take just a little bit of a loan out because I just want to get the right stuff right from the get-go uh, so let's go to the low loaders here 
and I want to get this low loader that comes with the Platinum expansion. Uh, what's cool about this, if you don't know, is you can actually extend it, make it longer, and it also can go wider too. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I want to change the color of this to black. And how much is this going to cost? Oh, yeah, we don't have enough money. So what we're going to do, well, there's two things we could do. We could take a quick loan and get it. Um, and then we, because well, I, ideally, I mean, in the real world, you would use that then to haul the, the wood harvester, especially up to the logging site. Um, and I think... Yeah, you know what? We're gonna let let's do it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take a quick loan here. So we need. I'm gonna borrow seventy five thousand dollars because there's one other significant purchase we need to make too. Okay, I guess I'm borrowing eighty thousand dollars. That's fine. Okay, now we should be able to purchase this low loader here, and I want to make it black. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll keep a spare wheel on it, just in case we pop a tire out in the woods. Even though that's not actually going to happen, but we're trying to be somewhat realistic here. Uh, okay, so let's buy that. And the f so that still leaves us forty six thousand dollars there. Okay, good. Now we'll eventually buy ourselves like a pickup truck and that sort of thing too. But um, I I don't want to I don't want to overdo it quite yet. You know what we could do though? I need to save $25,000 for a house for us. And I already have a house picked out. So that would leave us $21,000 left if we just wanted to something to get around in besides that really slow tractor. We could purchase this John Deere Gator. I uh, eventually I'd like to get, you know, like the TLX, but that's that's pretty expensive at the moment. This we can afford, um, and I don't think I don't really think I want to attachers. That adds eleven hundred dollars. Yeah, let's get that, and I think we'll just keep everything else the way that it is. Okay, uh, so let's buy this too. That way we have, like I said, something to drive around in. Um, other than a really slow tractor or a really expensive Mack truck uh, to be driving around. And uh, there we go. Okay, so this is our starting equipment. What we're going to do now is we're going to hook up um, the low boy and we're going to start hauling our stuff up to our new, our new land. And once we get up there, we will we'll put our house in and then we'll get started with some luck. Man, this is going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Let's get some lights on here. I guess that's all the lights this thing has. Okay. Get in reverse. Can we see? Yeah, we can see behind us. I do have um, a head tracker too, so we'll be using that. Except for I didn't line that up very well, did I? Yeah, okay. Let's get back this way kind of turn around like so whoops there we go we'll hook up our lines magnificent okay so um, let's get the skid steer loaded and the tools. And maybe the John Deere, and then we'll come back for the, uh, we'll come back for the trailer later. Actually, you know what? I'm going to pull this way. I do have, uh, I have a, quite a few mods installed, uh, including auto drive. Uh, but one thing that I did t 
take off is course plate because that's mostly for field work and we're not going to be doing a whole lot of field work in this series at least not for now we might we might be doing some hay later on but for now uh, we don't need that so oh you know what let's try something here too we're supposed to be able to extend this trailer out so how do we do that Oh, okay, so that's how we do the width. How do we do the length? Oh, there we go. Okay, look at that. That's cool. That's not really probably going to work too well, though, for transporting the small stuff. Yeah, okay. Well, at least we know how to do it, so that's cool. In fact, I probably... Probably have these too far apart for the skid steer. Uh, yeah, let's bring them back in just a little bit, and probably for the John Deere, uh, for the Gator there too. Let's get out a little, whoop, out a little more, and bring those in. Oh, that's all the further in they go. Okay, well that'll have to be enough, I suppose. That will have to be enough. All right, let's get. you on first yeah that's not that's not gonna be able to hitch up to any of that stuff so this will be a nice little putting around vehicle for us Can we get up all the way up here yeah look at that all right, fantastic. Okay. Let's strap this down. Good. All right, now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to get in the skid steer. Now, I am going to... Um, I'm going to try to not overdo it with super strength in this series. I want to use the equipment to you know, and move stuff the way that it's supposed to be moved. But that's not to say I won't ever use it. If we, if we get into a pickle, if there's a glitch or something, I'll use it. But I'm not going to load trucks with super strength. We're going to use the equipment to do that. So that is the plan as of right now. All right, I think what I want to do here is... Why aren't you backing up? Oh, because this one's an automatic. Uh, I, I was thought I was in gear shift mode. Okay, never mind. It's kind of weird. Okay. I guess, do you have to have the the wheel straight or something in order for this to drive because I'm, I'm push, pressing the gas pedal and it's not actually driving. It's kind of weird. Okay. Um, we're just going to set this down like this. Maybe even bring it up forward a little bit. Yeah, see, I'm pressing the gas, and it's not going forward unless I straighten out the wheel. So it's like it's in track turning mode or something like that. It's interesting. Okay, what I think we'll do here is let's also put on the... We'll put the stump grinder on next, and then I'm going to try and put the log fork inside the bucket. Now, one thing I am going to do as far as super strength goes, if the item can be moved by a human in real life, or even dragged, then I'll use super strength for that kind of thing. But if it's like, you know, a two-ton log, 
then no. <laughs> we won't be using super strength for that. Okay. All right, I think that's about all we're going to get on here. So let's get everything strapped down. And I all uh, so what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to run this equipment up to the property. I'm going to come back get the trailer, run that up to the property, drive up to our old property and get the harvester and the tractor and bring those back. And then once that's done, then I'll bring you guys back. I'll show you the property. We'll set up the house and then we'll get started with some logging. Okay. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, we are taking our final load up to our new property here. I have on the back uh, the harvester and the tractor and I already got the trailer up there and the skid steer John Deere all that kind of stuff uh, so this is the road leading up to our property here and it's not too far away it's kind of a nice little drive up here so we'll get up here and get this stuff offloaded and then I gotta figure out where I'm gonna park the low boy for the time being and then the next order of business here is for us to um, get our house put in place. So we'll do that, and then we'll do a little bit of logging before we wrap up the episode here. All right, let's get down into a lower gear here. Oh, I forgot to turn the lights off on the skid steer over there. Silly me. So why don't we come right up here next to our our trailer. And let's see. We want to get the ramps out and undo the straps. And we'll jump in the tractor first. Okay, let's get it in third. Oh, uh, let's see. How about if we take and put this right over here for the time being? And then the harvester. get the ramps out just a little more here and get my camera to behave that looks good Okay, and back in the truck, and we want to bring the sides back in all the way and bring that in and close those in or shut those in, pull them in, whatever. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's go ahead and... I think I'll pull this up here. 
uh, just in this little spot here, I suppose. We're, it probably can't stay here for too long because we're we are going to need to be logging these trees fairly soon. But I don't know if we'll get to that right now, uh, or when I say right now, I mean in this episode here. So we'll just keep it there for now. Okay, good. Look at that view. That's cool. Let's get into a higher gear here. Can I look out the window? Well, sorta. <laughs> Are we in... Yeah, we're in R4. This is as fast as we can back up. Not really technically looking out the window. I'm looking more out the back of the window at the moment. But I think it's because my mic's probably in the way of my head tracker camera. Okay, straighten that out. And let's back up just a little bit here. That should be good right about there. Okay, cool. So, uh, let's get the lights turned off here. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to head up to the pond here. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my new property. We have ourselves a nice little pond up here. that uh, We can do some trout fishing in at the end of the day and relax. There's a little brook flowing down through that way. And we've got a nice <clears throat> view going up that direction. So uh, I think this is, uh, like I said, I've done, did a little bit of look around, did a little bit of playing off camera, and I haven't looked at every single property on the map, but this one really tickled my fancy. So we're going to go with this one. And I think that actually the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this rock right here. So let's jump into skid steer. Uh, and, <clears throat> excuse me, I have this stump. Oh, man, that is so irritating. I just barely bump my wheel and it starts to turn. I have a really sh uh, small dead zone set, though, so that's part of it, I think. So get back over there. Yeah, as you as you all can probably tell, I've spent, haven't spent a lot of time in the skid steer. So it's a little bit... I'm not used to it, is what it boils down to. And I have a really tight dead zone, so it's those two things together. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so let's bust up this rock here. Looks like those are our lights, okay. And what do we do to turn this on B? Okay, let's break this sucker up. Cool. All right, now we also have one right over here, so we might as well get it too. Very nice. Okay, now what we're going to do is we want to get the loose uh, gravel out of the way and go find some place to dump it. We've got 76%. Oh, looks like we were dumping it out again. Okay, get all the way down. There we go. We can't quite get all of it. Oh! <laughs> okay. Well, that's one way to move the rocks. That's not quite what I had in mind, though. <laughs> Goodness gracious. All right, maybe we shouldn't lift the buckets quite so high up in the air, eh? 
Oh my goodness. Okay. Nope, nope, hold still. Just lift it up a little ways. Okay, how about if we take it up this way? I guess you can't really put a counterweight on the back of these things, can you? Can we get across this stream? I, I do have bridges that um, we can install. Okay, let's just drive up to the, the border here, which is just, there's an invisible wall up here that's going to stop us in just a moment. Yeah, right there. That's the invisible wall. Nope. Oh, that is frustrating. Okay, hold still. Now. Back up, turn wheel. Move forward. Hit invisible wall. Back up a little bit. And dump bucket. <laughs> For goodness sakes. Okay, I'm going to get the rest of that, that stone. I think I will go ahead and grab the other pile, and then uh, we will get started uh, with the house. Very good. Okay, so that's taken care of. Next thing we're going to do is get the house going. Uh, so we are going to build the house right along the shore here. Uh, so let's stand ourselves over here and get into the build menu. And what we're going to do is I have a modded house, uh, this $25,000 old wooden house. And it's kind of cute because it's got uh, a back porch on it. Uh, let's get it lined up here-ish. Uh, that looks like that's pretty well lined up, I guess, on the on the shore there. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll pop it in right about here. I'm going to do a little bit of landscaping work. Uh, we want to grab this sand. And bring that up, and then we're going to create ourselves like a, our own little beach here. Right along the water. And what I want to do is I'm going to actually make this really large for a second because I want to try and clear, yeah, that, that, uh, some of those reeds out of the water. And, and you'll see why here in just a little bit. Okay, so let's bring this back down to here. Nice looking sand, too. Uh, okay, now we're going to switch to this forest floor texture, and we're just going to get rid of the concrete that's around the edge of the house, because I don't think that looks looks right for here. Get that going, and this, and okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. Very good. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into... Uh, we're going to go into building and tools... And I have the uh, toolbox mod, and we're just going to put that right there. Uh, basically, if you don't know what this is, it's it lets you repair and reconfigure <clears throat> your machines uh, if you put the toolbox near those devices. And it did cost me 750 bucks, so it's not free. Uh, we'll eventually want the pressure washer, but I think I'm going to hold off on that for now. And that should take care of every oh no there is one more thing we're gonna do actually maybe two more things i have in here in decorations and others uh the the wood bridge mod and what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually take uh we're gonna make ourselves like a little dock this one i'm just trying to decide which size to use here all right, let's get around this way. Might look better to use the one that's just a little further out. How much might... Yeah, okay. Thing is, is that's kind of sticking up a little bit, isn't it? 
don't know if we can do anything about that. What if we turn it around this way? I think that's there. Okay, that's square with the house. Yeah, we might not be able to get this uh, perfectly level with the beach. We could maybe do a little bit of texture work, or not texture work, but terrain work. But that's right about in the center of the house. Uh, wait, it says this overlaps. Okay, we're just going to set this down in free mode then. Okay, there we go. Uh, so now we have ourselves a nice little cabin here. Uh, we got a Barbie, we got some table and chairs, and some other stuff. We got our toolbox there. And then uh, when we, when we want to go fishing out on our dock, we just come out here, bring a chair, sit down, and throw a line in the water and catch a trout for dinner. <laughs> Looks cool. All right. Hey, do I want to mess with that? Okay, here's what... I do, but before we mess with it too much, let's just save the game. Just in case I screw something up royally here. And let's get back into here for a second. I'm going to landscaping and go to raising. And I just want to try and raise this up a little bit here. This tool can be a pain in the butt to work with, so because... It always tends to raise the ground in every place but the place you want it to. All right, let's smooth that back down a little bit. You know what? That's good enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's kind of rustic. Yeah, I think we're going to just go with that. Except for now we, <laughs> now we got that stupid big bump right there. Um, let's see if we can smooth that out just a little more here. And it's probably a, almost exactly back to where it was before. This sand is really neat. This is a new texture. It looks like sand, and it sounds like sand when you walk on it. I love it. Okay, this this is actually a, a new forest texture, too, from uh, what we had before. And it looks really good. All right, you guys. So we have, we're pretty much set up uh, for our, start, our starting here. Um, I will... Uh, eventually, my plan is to put in a, a bigger and nicer house, uh, but, you know, we're not going to worry too much about that. So let's see if we can get a little bit of logging done before we wrap up this episode. This episode is probably going to go a little bit longer than the typical episode, but um, I want to I do some logging in the first episode. Uh, we, we probably won't do a ton, but uh, either that or I'll, I'll do a little bit of time lapse uh, and see if we can get one load down to the mill before we completely wrap up the episode okay so i'm gonna forewarn everybody that <laughs> um i'm not really good with this crane so just there you go you've been forewarned <laughs> um but we'll get better right we'll get better as time goes on so let's jump in you and we'll start this bad boy up and let's cut some trees so, um, can we, I don't know if we can cut this tree. That one might be a little big. Let's try it and see what happens. Yeah, I want to say it's probably a bit on the large size for this. We gotta open this thing up. Okay. I don't have a lot of experience with this machine either, but we will get we'll get good at it. That's what'll happen here. The one thing I've noticed is um you really have to have it nice and straight up and down for it to to uh, register. 
or, or it, you know be in the right position and it's a little tricky uh, at least for me because I'm not like I said I'm not really used to doing this it looks like it's in position but it's not if I go to cut it's not letting me do it see that that looks like exactly where it needs to be but it's not letting me cut it so I'm gonna probably say this tree might be oh something just flashed what did that say oh yeah okay this tree is too thick for this machine okay gotcha so we'll hit that one with the chainsaw then let's see if we can find one that we can do uh, maybe we'll go up the road here a little bit that's a dead oh no that's not a dead tree okay yeah let's hit this one here it looks looks dead from down here but it's got green foliage up at the top so let's get this down a little lower cut here we go nice Okay, and then we want to kind of tilt it so it falls that way. Very good. Okay, let's... Uh, yeah, we're going to want these logs to be right next to the trailer. And you know, that crane is long enough to where we might be able to cut these to... full length, whatever full length is. Let's slide that around there. Let's see if we can kind of manipulate the tree to come around this way a bit. There we go. Okay, and then we'll back up. Getting it lined up. I mean, we have other ways to line it up if we have to, but if we can line it up with this from the get-go, it's going to just make our life easier. Uh, I don't think we want to do that. But I want to push it back this way a little bit more. And then... Okay, well, let's just try it there. That's not perfect, but it should work. Now, the other thing we got to do is decide how long we want this. So this trailer... Um, I actually have a measurement mod... So if we start from here, uh, we open up the F1 menu, we hold down Alt, and we right-click. And that's not what I meant to do. But if you look in my Help menu in the upper left-hand corner, you can see that it's now measuring the length of this. And it looks like, yeah, this is about a 12-meter trailer. Okay. That was weird, man. It's, it's like I pushed it away. Is it still connected? Okay, this is a situation where we're going to use super strength because that was a glitch. That was not supposed to happen. Well, now the whole thing's all screwed up. Darn it! Come on, straighten up, trailer. Here, let's do it from here. There, that's better. Okay, I think we're back in business. So we want to set this to 12 meters. Uh, and I really would like to get it in a little bit better position here. And that's not too bad there. Okay, let's try this. So, um, we need Y to change the length, so we'll change it to 12 meters there. Okay, let's cut this bad boy. Very nice, okay. Our first tree. Cut and trimmed. Trimmed the length. 
Very nice. All right, now let's grab this. Uh, can we get that tree there? I don't know. That one looks like it might be the same size as that one. Oh, you know what we can do? Besides dragging our harvesting head in the dirt. Hello. Well, maybe not in the dirt, but in the brush. Um, if we if we walk up to the tree, that's a 35.8 meter tree. What's this one? A spruce. 35.8. Okay, yeah, so this one's going to be too big for this harvester as well. But I think we can cut those brown pine, what look like lodgepole pine maybe or something, uh, over here. So let's go grab one of those. In fact, I want to kind of come around this way. Let's get some lights on, too. up just a little bit so it's straight oh we just about had it there we go okay and then we want it to fall not precisely that way but <laughs> okay all right let's lift it up and yeah we can slide it that way and around over here Look at that tree, man. That is cool. Okay, I think that's a reasonably good position right there. Let's cut it. Um, can we twist it back this way a little bit before we drop it? I'm trying to twist the head, but it's not... Um, Let's just go with that. I wonder if this would work better for me if I... If I was, like, turned at a right angle. I'm trying to twist the, the head itself. You can see that it's moving, but it's not actually moving the log anywhere. Okay, now it's moving it that way. Huh, that's weird. I don't know. Okay, well, let's just finish cutting it. It'll take me a little bit of time to get, to get used to all this stuff, because, like I said, I'm not used to it. But we can use the the blade on the tractor or even the skid steer to to shove all that stuff over. Okay, let's go hit. Uh, uh, yeah, let's go grab this tree up here. I got this w way turned around, don't I? about there hey okay, don't fall on my my trailer <laughs> uh, okay fall on my trailer it's a tough trailer goodness gracious here let's bring this back a little closer to the machine 
because it's trying to tip us over. And then I'm just going to back it straight up. Ish. And then angle it. Nope. Sorry. Wrong way. Okay. I don't want to hit my truck. There we go. Okay, let's just cut it here. What a magnificent tree, huh? Let's slide this back over this way. <clears throat> Okay, I'm thinking let's let's do at least one more tree. We know that one's too big. We could hit those two with the chainsaw and use the winch to pull them into place. Cuz we're we're basically going to clear cut this entire property, but I do plan on replanting though. Um, yeah, why don't we do that? Just just to kind of change things up a little bit here. So we're going to turn this off. And let's get the tractor. And we'll push these logs closer to the trailer. There we go. Okay, so the plan is to fell this big tree pointing down the road and then winch it up this way. Do it. Where's our stuff at? Oh, it's way over there. Okay. I don't want to. I don't want this big giant spruce tree to be cut down right on top of my brand new John Deere, man. That would not be good. Timber! Whoa! That kind of kicked back at me. Dangerous. Logging is a very dangerous profession. Am I? Is that working? I'm trying to get the the thingy to show up. Why the heck is it way over there? I don't know. All right, hold on a second. Let's put this away and then take it back out. It's not showing me. It's not showing me the disc. I have no idea why. Come on, game. Just work, would you please? There it is. Okay, now I see it. Okay, let's get back over to the thick end. Here, we'll get out of the the brush here. Yeah, see the little white disc wasn't wasn't showing well. There. Why in blue blazes isn't this working? Huh? 
That time it worked. Okay, now it's working. I don't know. <laughs> That's weird. I do have the Lumberjack mod, but that usually makes cutting wood better, not worse. Okay. Did we get all limbs off of here? I think so. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is come up here. We're going to press R and grab our winch cable. Come back to our log. Press B to attach it. And pull it in. And yeah, I know that you can also pull it from over there, but you have to stay close to the to the hook for that to work. So I like to just come back to here. If it was really far away and you had to kind of stay with it to make sure it didn't get caught up, that's when you would really want to use that method a little more. Okay, so that's pretty close. Let's bring it right to there, okay? Disconnect that. All right, now we're going to use our measurement. And we're going to go out to 12. Oh, why is that in feet? That should... Okay, what's... What are, what's 12 meters? That's 36 feet, right? Yeah, that's about 36 feet. Okay. Not quite, but... It's about the same length as those lugs. Okay. Right about here. And then we want to go out to 72 feet, right about here. And then out to, um, what's 72 and 36? It's 109. Of course, we're already kind of at the end of the tree, though. So, yeah, we're good. Okay. All right, let's... I think what we're going to want to do now is we're going to want to push this first log out of the way. And then we'll use the winch to pull the other ones up. Come on. It's kind of getting wedged underneath there, isn't it? There we go. Let's also push this one back. So it's not in the same line as the other one there. There we go. I think I might have actually pushed it too far. Let's just see what it does. Oh, good. It, it kind of moved out away from that other lug. And then we'll grab uh, this one. And is that... See, if we stand out here, we can remote control it until it gets about that far away and then it stops. Uh, this was the end of the tree, though, right? Yeah, okay. This is fun, man. I'm enjoying this so far. Come on, log. We'll get set up later on with, with a yard or two and just try out a bunch of the different tools and stuff. Okay, 
Now, we'll get back into here. And once again, we want to uh, push these back. You know what we could do is we could probably use the skid steer for the push, and so that way we can keep the tractor in place. So we'll try that with the next one. It's getting caught up right there. Oh, there we go. Cool. All right, we're going to do one more tree. We're going to do this big spruce here, and then when that's done, then we'll start loading. I think that's going to give us a pretty good size load. I don't know if it's going to give us a full load, but this is taking a little bit longer than I wanted to spend in the first episode, so let's get her done. Trying to think how I want to. We're going to probably have to do this one from the other end. Okay. Timber! Oh, nice. <laughs> the power... The power of a tree crashing down in the woods. Alright. Hopefully my saw will work. Okay, there's the white disc. Yeah, I think it's working. Hard to see in this brush, though. Okay. Good. Now, let's grab this and attach it to here. Pull it out. Uh, you know what? It got... Whoops. It got caught on that stump. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, what we're going to need to do here, let's do that and then I'm going to have to pull it well that's interesting okay so what that means is we're going to have to pull it this way first and then it's going to get caught up on that stump <laughs> oh man Just locked up. And looks like my game crashed. Stock on it. Alright, I'll be right back. Well, guess what, guys? We <laughs> looks like we did a full reset back to the last place I saved. Oh, that sucks. That really, really sucks. <sighs> okay, well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do then. I'm going to uh, I mean, I normally autosave is is kind of a mixed blessing. In a, in this particular case, it it would have been nice to have it, but a lot of times it'll save when I don't want it to, kind of thing. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do here is wrap up the episode because we've already gone way too long, anyways. Off camera, I'm gonna re-cut down the trees that we cut down and get the pile back here. And then we'll start the next episode uh, by by loading the truck uh, and then, you know, taking it down to sell and going from there. So I think that's what makes the most sense under the circumstances. All right, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and uh, we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.